Hey, welcome back to Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Josh Hardy here and my trusty co-pilot, Bailey May. So, uh, we haven't really shown Bailey too much on the, uh, on the channel so far. She's just about, I think she was a year just last week. And, uh, she is a, uh, Australian Shepherd Poodle Mix. Um, my kids have been asking for a dog for like nine years and I kept saying no. My wife and I had a small dog for years and before we had kids. And just decided we didn't want the extra work. But uh, I can tell you that uh, Miss Bailey May is uh, a handful for us. Uh, but she's a good, pretty good dog and smart as can be. They say that the poodle and the Australian Shepherd are extremely smart. So anyway, we'll talk a little bit more about Bailey here on this trip, but where we're headed right now is to Sabina, Ohio. I've never heard of Sabina, Ohio until just last week when I was looking for tractor attachments. And so there's a company there called Biggie Inc. B-I-G-G-I-E. And I reached out to them today uh, to ask them if they had forks. I need some forks for the uh, Solace H24. Um, mainly because tomorrow, I just got a call that we've got a shipment showing up tomorrow with some new tractor attachments. Uh, Solace branded tractor attachments, so manufactured by Solace. And uh, pretty excited about taking possession of those, but as you know, the uh, the 2032R is uh, under the weather. I still haven't gotten that. Hazard reported ahead. Um, so I don't have the access to use the forks there. And um, I don't uh, necessarily want to get out the big tractor uh, to, to take uh, receipt of these. So not exactly sure if they're coming on pallets. I'm assuming they'll be in a box truck again, but uh, we're looking forward to taking those and I'll tell you more uh, well, I'll show you what those are going to be when we pick them up tomorrow. So, this video is uh, us driving about 58 minutes, it said, or 58 miles maybe, to Sabina, which is uh, south of Columbus, Ohio, somewhere down near Wilmington, Ohio. And um, we're going to go check out what Biggie Inc. has in stock. And they said they might be interested in. Uh, you know helping us out with some attachments. So we're gonna go figure out what that might look like and I've got the uh, the Smaller equipment trailer on the back. So not sure uh, You know if, what else they have in mind what all we can actually haul um, I had said in a previous video we were looking at a deck over trailer and So far I think we've shifted our focus over to a dump trailer just to be a little more versatile. We don't really have to haul um, tractors that much. I mean, it would be nice to be able to haul lumber with the sawmill. It'd be nice to be able to go pick up stuff that they can put on the back with forks, but we can do that with a dump trailer too. And we need to, to get some dirt and gravel and stuff like that. So I think a dump trailer is more versatile, but we're trying to find somebody that wants to work with us for a little bit of exposure. Uh, you know, obviously, trying to get a, a better deal on that track on that uh, that trailer if we can a little mutual win-win uh, uh, with some exposure on the channel so stay tuned on that um, we may end up with no trailer because uh, I don't necessarily have the finances to just go out and buy a trailer right now so uh, we'll see what we can come up with but um, Let's take a look and uh, check in on Bailey real quick here, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about her. All right, so Bailey May, one year old Aussie Doodle, or Aussie Poo is the way that they're referred to. Um, first dog I've ever had that had to be uh, groomed, but the last dog we had was a Toy Fox Terrier, and that dog shed hair like crazy, almost like a, like a little Jack Russell kind of looking dog. Loved it. It was good to us. We had it for about 13 years, but um, it was a lot of work. So Bailey, uh, we live as we as many of you know, we live in the burbs. So she is the patroller and protector 
of our backyard from squirrels and deer. Uh, she uh, likes to stand at the window. It almost looks like a person standing there watching the squirrels and just patrolling. And then the other times she just got her head on the ledge watching. She's, uh, you know, we let her out. She runs out pouncing and, and carrying on. So pretty cool. But the cabin is her favorite place. And we just recently had her back on the 80. My wife and I took her for a walk and man, she just went crazy. Running uh, down the hill, up the hill, side to side. Just had a blast. Much nicer than the, uh, the little yard in the burbs. So I'm looking forward to having her out on the property a lot more. But we've got to figure out the grooming piece because at times she looks like a raggy sheepdog and at other times uh, she, the first time we had her cut she looked like a poodle we liked the second haircut a lot better and it really worked well when we were out on the property so I think we're going to try to keep her a little bit uh, groomed a little bit better um, first time we waited like almost six seven months and I think we need to be on about a two to three month cycle grooming her down keep her from matting up and stuff like that but anyway she's uh decided to uh take a nap here and uh we'll tune back in as we get to uh to biggie inc and see what they have in stock uh on their uh on their lot there they said they were just receiving a truck today so curious to see what they've got they said they have some product from titan uh, but also have a number of usa made products so we're gonna go see what they've got. See you soon. So we are in the flat farming area of Ohio. So unlike where our cabin is, where we're in the rolling hills and close to the Appalachian uh, region, right on the edge of it actually, we are south of Columbus on our way about, I don't know if it's quite halfway to Cincinnati, but down 71 south, and we're on our way. We're about nine miles out of Sabina, and uh, it is just flat as can be out here. So, fields and farms as far as you can see. All right, so a little anticlimactic today. They uh, are actually unloading trucks back at the property. And so now I'm down the road at their uh, truck business. So Biggie's has a truck business as well. And uh, we're gonna follow up and have another conversation with them. But uh, I just went in here and took care of the, uh, the bill. And uh, we're gonna get back out of what I was told is Sabina and get back to Columbus. Uh, so I will talk a little bit more about uh, our discussion on the way back. All right, so uh, when I got here, the uh, gentleman I talked to on the phone, Mike, who is the uh, owner, he's got uh, a truckload of, that's here of equipment from South Carolina, and the drivers are itching to get back out of there. So he and another forklift are feverishly unloading uh this truck so i figured i'd just do a little walk around and look at what they've got they've got a lot of uh attachments for larger tractors and uh skid steer attachments as well making me wish i had a skid steer but um yeah so i spent some time talking with chris i'm not sure uh the relation there uh, but later I got to meet Mickey, who is the uh, brother-in-law who's uh, down running the, um, the truck uh, parts and the truck parts business. So overall, it seems like a, a, a good family business. Uh, they have uh, been in business for over 10 years uh, and uh, continuing to expand. So. Uh, good good group of folks. I'm looking forward to working with them some more. They had some things they want to talk to me about uh, in a follow-up. So potentially a area here for more equipment for us to test out and try and uh, provide some 
content for them, for their uh, sales and for their customers. So, um, yeah, a worthwhile trip to Sabina and uh, what I thought was Sabina. He said we were still about an hour from Cincinnati, but only about six miles from Wilmington, Ohio. So jump back on Interstate 71 and get back up to Columbus. And tomorrow we'll be heading out 33 West to uh, the cabin to pick up some uh, new attachments from Solace. installed from Biggie Inc. Uh, and now I'm waiting for the, uh, the shipment of those attachments. So uh, we'll show you in the next video what we get. But um, that's the first time I've used the uh, skid steer quick attach, the SSQA attachments. I've always had the John Deere uh, hookups on the front, which are not compatible with this. You can buy a interchangeable plate, which maybe we'll do at some point if we need to. But those are really nice. Um, I was telling somebody the other day, I said, leave it to John Deere, similar to Apple, which I love Apple products, um, to come up with their own system that's totally different and requires you to buy their stuff only. Um, you know, I'm an Apple fan. I have a, a Mac. I have all the stuff. But for years, did not. And, um, you know, the universal nature of this is pretty nice. It makes... Uh, Attachments a little easier to find a little less expensive a little more competitive but um, That's a nice set of forks uh, 42 inch blades on them or uh, tines on them and uh, They look good American made I don't know If there's a I don't see a brand on them other than biggie, so I don't know if they just have them made for them but um, Yeah Happy with those so uh, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the next video, and uh, we'll be getting some stuff off the back of a truck from uh, Solace. So uh, appreciate it. If you uh, haven't hit that like and subscribe and you like this kind of content, please do, and we'll see you in the future. Thank you so much. Have a great day.